So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now if I told you that you can run Le Mans Ultimate on triple screen without Nvidia Surround or AMD Ifinity, would you believe me? Well, you have to actually. So right now I'm using an AMD card and you can see here, it's uh, Ifinity is actually turned off. So now what I'll do here is that I'll start the game and after launching the game, just simply launch the game and make sure you're using triple screen like this, but Surround or Ifinity turned off. After that, I'll give an application in the link you download that application now click on this application it will start something like this now select the running application now you will search for Le Mans ultimate in, in the first time you have to search the application here after you first use the application then it will, it will show here in the main uh, on, on top now actually okay now go to your width you select the width to 5760 5760 now click on set now look at that all your triple monitors are being used now the big question here why am i doing this so why this stupidity like uh, you can easily differently easily use affinity or uh, nvidia surround now the um, problem is that not every person has a decent graphics card some people might be using a graphics card from you know 2018 or 2020 so that actually uh, will not be able to handle triple screen with surround or affinity and one more thing this is a technical thing if you have been using affinity or surround you might have noticed that if when your system is idle you're not playing any game at the same time you look at the wattage is it will consume around 30 watts if uh, uh, affinity or uh, surround is turned on if you turn it off it will consume around 7 watts or 6 watts so sometimes also consumes 5 watts so you, i'm talking about the gpu wattage no not, not the cpu wattage so it will uh, not only save power but it will also be beneficial for those who are actually running a game, uh, running a, a graphics card that's actually very old, like the 1660 Super 2060 or from the AMD, the RX 570. So that's it. Now I'll just go in a game and race, uh, race and then I'll just show you guys how it actually looks. It will not look that great, but yeah, it will eventually help those who actually want to, want to play the game on triple screen. So just for the enjoyment part, and look at how it actually spans from left to right. And one major benefit of using this is that you might know that for AMD cards, they have uh, launched a thing called the, uh, let me show you here. Uh, if you go to my AMD settings, if I go to gaming, there will be a thing called, if I go to go down, it's called fluid motion frames. You might, you might see over here, AMD fluid motion frames. Okay, if you turn on Ifinity, well, you cannot enable this. It will be default. It will be disabled by default. So now, if you are using, if you are playing the game like this, if you want higher frames, let's say your monitor is at 240 hertz, triple monitor 240 hertz, then you definitely have to play the game on 240 hertz, 240 FPS. I mean, so definitely you can turn this on and you can get more frames. And those are actually fake frames, but in the end, that looks great. It actually looks better than the any Nvidia card. AMD has done this pretty much awesome. So you can turn, in short, you can turn this option on without the uh, uh, Ifinity turned on. So right now I'm on the menu. It looks a bit weird here at the same time. But again, if I start driving, so now if I just press the Now, just drive a little bit. My pit in there turned on. This is how I can drive. This is how the driving looks like. Oh, this is actually one driving with one hand is not easy, you know, not an easy job. Now if I drive again and get back in the track. Well, 
let's just say uh, driving with one hand is actually not that great but yeah you should get the you should get the point of how it actually looks like from the cockpit view i think i have in no man's land okay i think i crashed the game <laughs> i again get got back in the pit stop so and one more thing on my previous video i showed a video of how you can actually get this kind of dashboard here in the game and i forgot to show you one thing i only showed you the pit stop button is working and i forgot to show you that the uh, traction control is actually working you see tc is showing here momentarily it will show but on the real value will be over here on the top and if i increase the brake bias it's actually showing and if i increase the motor map it will show in the motor map it will actually show here in the game if i change the value here like that and if i actually uh, okay and one more thing and the engine kilowatt will also show Re the regenerative power of the engine of the motor will also be shown here like that green so this is it and that's about today's video and, and i really hope that you got the point of how you can actually achieve this without the nvidia surround or the md affinity so if this video helped you in any way a like will be definitely appreciated and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications in time for such crazy videos and till and in the end what matters most is that you should have fun with the game and that's all means to me and till i see you on my next video and yeah that's all